guys (um) I'm very excited to ex~ introduce you to this new brand of makeup (um) that (um) they have brought in from korea (uh) it's called clio C L I O and I think for big K pop fans you would know that it's (um) being modelled by #hyoli# she has this (uh) cute black look (um) that she carries because of clio and (um) she's really popular let me show you the 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 picture of it this one she's really pretty she's a korean idol you know on stage and all she looks amazing (um) and basically I'm here to introduce you to the products (um) that I was being sent and (um) this is a look inspired look that I tried (um) using the products that was given to me (uh) I used most of them and (um) there isn't really much comparison but it's just that this is different eyeliner and mascara compared to this eye (um) both uses different eyeliner and different mascara (ppl) (um) for this korean inspired look I'm just gonna use my own face powder and set it on and not to get your and not so as not to get it like one flat look (um) what I'll normally do a a little bit of a light brown (um) for contouring wise (um) basically I'm using the kate one (um) and I'm using a super light brown almost close to my own skin colour I know this is supposed to be for eyebrows (um) but I guess you can still use it for eyeshadow as well okay so what you do is you just grab a brush mine is an eyeshadow brown brush and pick up the colour and all you do is apply it here a, a place where you want to create a so call your se- uh, double eyelid a bit more if you want to have a bit more dramatic you pick up a, the darker brown and you do it here at the contour here you see the difference how much more deep set this eye is than this and to make your eyes really pop out um, I'll normally do a bit of a highlight and a brow bone another eyeshadow brush um, but this is a bit more fluffier so your colours get more spread out not as um, focused so what I'll do is pick it up and just brush lightly near your eyebrows just like that it will do in a corner so when I'm done with this old eyeshadow look already and the next thing I want to use is this one um, by Cleo it's the I love you shadow pencil and I got it in light navy so this is how the pencil looks like it's a dark blue it's called Night Navy and what you do is you just line your eyes with it and I can tell you the colour shows very fast um, like on your first stroke right you already get the colour okay so you don't really have to fill up like right near to your lash line because later on you'll be putting a bit of eyeliner so what you do here because for um, because for the Korean stars they tend to have a little of a flick here so how you do it is okay at this lower corner here you follow your line back up it's almost like a 45 degrees So you get this flick just flick it outward and then using this point flick it back in and there you have like a blue line then um, I in fact have uh, this this one called the 
gel eyeliner and brow pot. So this is how it looks. Uh, mine is number one black because I wanted to have black gel. And on the top, you get a mirror and you get brown um, eyebrow powder. So, and it comes with a brush that's two ended, um, one end. It's uh, the gel. This is a brush for you to pick up the gel eyeliner. It's this little roundish kind of brush, and the other end it's a angled, angled brush, soft brush, so that you can draw your eye, uh, eyebrows. You can fill in your eyebrows with. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm picking up the gel and this is not like black, black in your face black. Um, I've tried it. Um, I would say it's a soft black. So what you do is why gel is so that it, because it doesn't smudge that easily in our weather. And I'll tell you how to prevent smudging in a way later. So once you picked up the colour, I'm so sorry. Yeah. You're in your lower lash line. Can you see that? I normally, um, I normally fill in like a thicker line from the outside. And you join it back up to the blue eyeliner that you drew. And you can extend it a little if you want. You know, so what you do is you create a dip here. See, this is how you change the inner corner of your eye. So you get this part where it looks like you actually have that cut in. Some stars, they tend to cut off this little flap here just to get this corner here. But you can easily flick it with this flick here. And you see, I have a different eye shape now. This is basically how I will line my eyes. And... Because it's gel, so if you will happen to tear and things like that, it will still get smudged if you were to pull it. Because you can see how easily I smudge it with the brush. So to set the gel in, um, I'll normally apply eyeliner uh, on top of it. And I have two types of eyeliner with me now by Cleo. First is this one called the Waterproof Brush Liner, um, Killback. This one. And the other one is the this one, waterproof pen liner Q black. So one is a brush and one is a pen. Um, actually, I like the pen one more because it's more intense black, whereas the brush liner is of a little lesser black. Basically, I'm just gonna continue with what I said. Um, pen liner and brush liner, one on each eye. On the on my right, it's the brush liner, and on my left, it's the pen liner. So you can compare the intensity. I'm gonna do on the left first. For mascara, I have something to compare as well. Um, together with the brush liner, now they are coming up with they came up with free mascara as well. Here. I have this small little one because it's free and it's called the Otang Volume Mascara. It's called Volume Mascara. And then the other one that I have is this one, the Kill Volume Waterproof Mascara. Okay, um, this one is to create the attractive don't eye effect with the mascara's deep and intense black color. And I find that the this is the mascara, and this is the this is the Kill Volume Mascara, and this is the Old Tank Volume Mascara. Um, 
ya I think you can see the difference in intensity and lengthening and volumeing as well (ppb) let me show it to you not sure if it's obvious to you but (um) the side is definitely darker and (um) more luscious in a way compared to the side I'm trying to zoom in hopefully the camera focuses on me I'll look up this is the kill volume side and then this is the (ppo) old tank volume mascara side can you see the difference I would definitely recommend this one more the kill volume if you wanna look really killer and luscious in fact it does look a little like I'm wearing the falsies (um) even without it so one final touch is the (um) eyebrows I think you can see I've not filled it in (um) yes I'm going back with the gel liner and brow part remember the top part so you go in with your angled brush and pick up some there's even a mirror so you can easily use it and this brown I would say it matches a lot of the (um) asian hair colour in unless you bleach your hair and things like that but this would be a natural brown to use I'm distracted by the light but this is very much how I draw my eyebrows I tend to angle my um, eyelashes, uh, eyebrow a little because I want to look more awake, um, you know, and not so sleepy. So my eyebrows tend to be angled at an angle, and this angled brush helps creating the angle that I want. So double checking that the angle is the same. I'm not very used to this small mirror. I'm just gonna double check with my own bigger mirror because I can see both brows at the same time. Whereas the other one, I can only see one brow. But it's good to move, bring it around outside. Okay, I wouldn't want it to be too dark and you know overpower my own eye makeup. So I'm gonna brush it out a little, set it out a little. cold today so I'm in a hoodie I won't be wearing any so called sexy top like what's her name um Hyo Lee in the, the Cleo, Cleo model for the Cleo black okay touching up a little here and there and there you have it this is the Hyo Lee Cleo inspired makeup look I know hers is like black, kill black, really all black, like this. But I do hope I created like a almost similar look with this.